Happy New Year, everyone. I wish everyone a happy and prosperous new year. Hopefully this year is going to be better for everybody than the last. I can't believe it's already 2024. The years are flying by. And today on my channel, we are starting off the year with a new Christian Dior review of their new Rouge Dior lipsticks. Now these lipsticks are not brand new. They are a staple by Dior, but they are reformulated and they also have a very luxurious new case to them. So I did purchase two lipsticks. One of them is a satin and the other one is a velvet. I just really love Dior's liquid lipsticks. These ones right here, they are one of my favorite lipsticks from Dior. They just last so long. They feel so great on the lips. Love these so much. I also really have always preferred the Rouge Dior Forever. This one is in shade. Cherie. I just love this lipstick. I love the longevity of it on the lips. You just have to put it on once and then it lasts pretty much for several hours without even reapplying. So this is a gorgeous lipstick by Dior. Now the Lux that I purchased last year, I can't believe I'm saying last year already, but these were such a dud to me. I hated them. I honestly disliked them quite a bit. I feel like they look beautiful on the lips. So the colors are amazing they look beautiful but they are so sticky if i had to choose one beauty product that i regret purchasing last year it would have to be these dior lax i really dislike them i hate the way they feel on the lips even though they do look beautiful they keep that gloss finish they are long lasting but that sticky feeling that pretty much stays on since the time you really apply these i really dislike them so these are the worst purchase of last year so so let's see if Dior can redeem themselves with these Rouge Dior's. All right, so first I want to share with you guys something else that I received from Dior. This is part of their loyalty program. It did come in as a gift. If you're not part of the Dior loyalty program, I highly recommend it, especially if you love Dior and you purchase quite a bit of their beauty products. They just really give you the most amazing gifts. And this year, they gave a serum so first off again packaging gorgeous beautiful it's just so stunning i love the artwork i'm such an art person and when i see artwork like this i tend to really appreciate it quite a bit so it comes in a beautiful pouch and it is the dior prestige serum I honestly thought this was a joke or perhaps maybe they were going to send a miniature version, but this is a full size. If you're not familiar with this line, this is one of the high-end skincare line by Dior. And this one alone is a serum that is $500 and they sent this as a gift. So I am really excited to try this. I don't think I would ever purchase this because it is so expensive, but nonetheless, I am still really excited that I get a chance to use it for a while. I think this will last a couple of months, but I really, internally I hope I end up hating this because I do not want to pay $500 for a serum I think that is crazy um, but regardless I think it's a beautiful gift by Dior so I think Dior for this again if you're not part of the loyalty program I highly recommend that you become a part of it they give really beautiful gifts during your birthday month and then also at the end of the year and also throughout the year as well so I highly recommend you be part of the loyalty program let's get into the lipsticks I am really excited for these so first off let's talk about what's reformulated with these lipsticks so really it's the ingredients the ingredients are so much better for for you I noticed that they no longer have the synthetic wax that was previously in the original formula which is great and then I also noticed that it has flower extracts um, it has jojoba oil which is great for your lips um, just really nice kind of ingredients shea butter um, and the satin formula it's just a beautiful ingredient for your lips just less type of synthetic ingredients so that's really what's reformulated in this lipstick itself um, so the longevity of the lipstick on the lips, it's not going to be anywhere near kind of the liquid lipsticks like these. But Dior does make really good lipsticks and I feel like I have really high hopes for these. Um, and I'm so glad that these high-end beauty companies are really looking into getting better ingredients into their products. And this one definitely is and does have some really amazing ingredients in there. For all of Dior lipsticks, they usually have the same type of 
shades in a different formula. So this one I believe has about 70 shades. It's very difficult to kind of choose a shade. They're all so beautiful. I do love Dior's um, shade list. And this time I felt like I wanted to purchase shades that I don't have in my collection. So I purchased the Satin in uh, Promenade. This is number 434. And then in the Velvet formula, I purchased the, the Mitza shade, which I don't have in my collection. Let's start off with the Satin shade, since this is going to be the easiest to remove, so I can try the Velvet. All right, next we have the Case. I think this is the most beautiful and luxurious case that Dior has ever created for their lipsticks and it's magnetic as well. So. I don't own any of the older versions of the Rouge Dior, uh, but I do have a mini version of it. Uh, but this is pretty much what the lipstick used to look like. It had the CD logo up on top and then around it had that pretty design that now they have um, on top of the lipstick. I very much prefer the new one. It has a beautiful weight to it. Previously, um, it wasn't as weighted and of course it was not magnetic. The new lipsticks are also refillable. So if you are worried about having kind of the previous refills, you can use it with this case as well. You kind of just put it in there and it's good to go. Okay, let's swatch this. I think this shade is really beautiful. I did want to go for more new type of shades, shades that I normally wear on a day-to-day -day basis. I was going to purchase a red, but I have so many reds by Dior. Oh, this is really pretty. Yes, love it. So this is shade 434 promenade and this one is in the satin formula so glossy and very beautiful i did have 001 dior maximizer on my lips that i just removed so i have nothing on my lips at all i'm not going to use any kind of lip liner or anything i'm just going to go right from the bullet and try this lipstick out oh this is so pretty i love the color I think it's gorgeous. It's actually really pretty with a pink type of look as well. Hmm, so pretty. It feels so nice on the lips. It glides on beautifully. This does it have is. a mild scent to it, um, but it's the normal Dior type of scent. Uh -huh. All right, let's try the Velvet formula. Now, this one again is in 625 in Mitza, and I've always wanted this shade, but I've never purchased it. Let's so go ahead away. and swatch this. Ooh, definitely a matte lipstick. It is close to the first color. This one has more of a rose uh, kind of undertone to it. Such a pretty color. So here is Mitza. And as you can see, it's just a very pretty type of rosy shade. Mm, this glides on beautifully. And this is Mitza, just a beautiful rosy tone. I love the matte feel to it. It's not drying in any way. It glides on beautifully on the lips. Um, and it is a matte lipstick, just really pretty. Feels nice on the lips. The color is gorgeous. I'm definitely glad I got the Velvet formula in the Mitza shade. Just for comparison purpose, I am going to use the older formula. This is the Rouge Dior in number 999. This is the matte formula, and this is just the classic red that everyone knows and loves. And I have to say, that the velvet formula is more creamy. Um, this is matte, um, but I think this is very similar to the velvet type of formula, or should be at least. But the reformulation, I do feel has more slip to it. It feels nicer on the lips. I have used this a couple of times and I just felt like my lips did get dry um, kind of the next day. Uh, we'll see with these. This is the first time I use these ones, so I will let you guys know how I like them. And that is my review of the new Rouge Dior. So what do you guys think? If you've tried them out, leave me a comment below and let me know what your thoughts are on the new formula and if you like them or not. Personally, I think that they are beautiful even though you're not going to feel a difference 
right away, the ingredients really are better for you. I love the fact that the high-end brands are removing those bad ingredients out of their products and just trying to make them more natural and kind of better for you overall. I just love the case to these. I love the fact that they're magnetic. They have a nice weight to them. They look very luxurious. I mean, if you are paying $49 for a lipstick, then it better look nice. Um, but overall, even the formula itself is gorgeous. I love both the satin and the velvet. I don't think I have one that I prefer over the other. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I know these lipsticks are quite anticipated and I know that they are pretty expensive. And for those of you that already own some Rouge Dior's, then you might be thinking, do I really need these in my collection? And I would say if you want more of a natural type of better ingredient lipstick, then definitely go for it. Maybe get one or two, um, maybe shades that you don't have in your collection. I would definitely highly suggest it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Yeah.